Hey guys, it's Jack, and today I'm going to do a video about my experience using Taylor Swift ticks. So, I'm guessing that some of you don't know what Taylor Swift ticks exactly is, so here's a quick explanation. So, around the time Look What You Made Me Do was released in August, uh, Ticketmaster Verified Fan partnered with Taylor in order to make buying tickets easier for fans, to, or buying tickets for her next tour to be easier for the fans. So, the kind of premise of the entire system was that Fans could participate and boost activities in order to advance their place in line. And so, like, the higher up in line they were, the more or the earlier they could buy tickets before they went on general on sale. So that would protect against, like, bots and scalpers trying to get in. And um, I guess that a lot of Swifties were very excited about it, but it was highly controversial due to the fact that, basically... You could do some a bunch of free activities like watch the music video, take a picture with like the UPS truck, and a, a multitude of other things in order to advance your place in line. But the things that boosted you really high in the line were things like buying the album, pre-ordering, and like buying merch and everything. And as some of you know, the merchandise for Reputation was, or is like pretty expensive compared to our other stuff because it's like higher quality. But so a lot, a lot of the press had so much to say about this, saying that like. She's just trying to get money and exploit her fans. And basically, I guess I'm going to show you or tell you how I felt about it as a fan and as someone who looks up to Taylor a lot. And, you know, uh, so basically for me, uh, it was not that big of a deal considering I knew I was going to buy some merch and like pre-order the album anyways. So uh, I really liked how I would be doing those things that I normally would do but get rewarded with higher like chances to get better tickets because I've all, only ever seen Taylor up in the nosebleeds and uh, like using this program got me tickets on the floor for really not that um, expensive like for those kind of seats and so uh, I was really really happy about uh, I guess the program um, however a lot of people were not because uh, and mainly like all the fans like who were going to buy like the tickets anyway and who really wanted pre-sale tickets were like they had like a lot of I'm not gonna say all of them everyone agrees with me but I know that a lot of people were going to like buy tickets and or buy um, the album and buy the merchandise anyways and so getting rewarded for that is really cool because now like doing those things and like like I guess um you know listening to the album and pre-ordering it it's getting you a spot in line so it's not just like buying multiple copies of the album it's like helping you get a better chance to see someone that you really look up to in person. And uh, I guess, well, the media side, and like, no, I'm not saying just the media, a lot of fans have this problem too, and I totally see their side, is, and I'm not trying to like sway you either way, or I'm just showing you my personal opinions and how I felt during the program. And so a lot of people were like, if there's like some younger kids, because there are a lot of people that like Taylor Swift from all ages. They're like begging their parents to keep buying them merchandise because they want to see ta they want to see Taylor so badly. Um, however, sorry. Um, uh, for like me, it was not really that much of a problem. Um, I totally understand how it could be, uh, one hundred percent. But I didn't really see that much online from fans or people actually buying tickets complaining about it. Because I feel like the people that were complaining about it and trying to make it a huge thing were people that weren't gonna go see the show anyways or like buy the album. And so, uh, it was. I understand how people are like going to say that it is Taylor just trying to get money and it did make her a lot of money I'm going to like say that like it happened however as someone who is going to do those things anyway it feels really cool to get rewarded and like put in a better place to get tickets because seeing Taylor live is such like a cool experience and <laughs> I don't know how to say, say this it's like such like a magical experience you know seeing someone that you really look up to and that like you really admire their talent like up close seeing like do seeing them do what they do best is a very very cool experience for me and uh i'm sure that a lot of swifties also felt this way um uh, so let's start a discussion leave your comments down below like how did you feel during the program and uh, i totally see both sides of the argument like i feel bad for like a bunch of kids and people that were trying to get tickets but like they ended up not getting pre-sale tickets or good tickets because they couldn't like afford the album which is like a terrible thing like i really think that everyone should be able to like you know get tickets i've seen Ticketmaster verified fan do other th um verified fans do other things in the past like example when i bought my katy perry tickets you just had to sign up and then they'd email you a code to pr like avoid like scalpers and everything and uh that worked really okay and 
uh, I guess like all the fans got good tickets too. I got really good Katy Perry tickets too. I saw that concert too. I did a vlog if you haven't seen that. And also, um, as you can see, I'm wearing a poppy shirt and I was listening to her record earlier. I'm doing a vlog when I see her next month, February 10th. So be stay tuned for that off topic. Um, so I think that like there are so many ways to get tickets into the hands of fans. But personally, I liked the experience of like getting rewarded for doing things that I was going to do anyway. So yeah, started a, start a discussion down below. Tell me, guys, tell me what you guys thought during the program and if you would ever want to like see Taylor do that again or suggestions on how to change it for next time. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.